One of the things I am most proud of is our joining of the International School Studies Network, which is part of AHS Society. Doing High School is the first high school in New England to join this organization. For me, what ISSN brings is a global competency. So our students, when they graduate, will be college ready, career ready, and globally competent. And we just define global competence as recognizing perspectives, investigating the world, communicating, and for me the most important piece is take action. What we try to instill in all of our students is that they have power to make a difference in the world, and it begins within them. They can make a difference in their own lives, they can make a difference in our school, in our community, and throughout the world. The Freshman Collaborative is working on a project that inc incorporates all four um, core subjects and art and the kids will be investigating what um, water means to uh, people throughout the, the, the globe, especially in developing countries that don't have enough water. And then they're going to recognize the perspectives of people who um, are in need of clean water to survive. And then they will be looking at um, communicating their ideas and explaining you know, what they've learned to various audiences. And the fourth piece is a take action piece where the kids are actually using um, art skills going to make beads and there's a charity that will provide a dollar for every bead basically and it takes twenty dollars to give one child fresh water in a, in a developing country that needs it so the kids will be making beads and, and hopefully persuading others to be making beads to contribute to this charity. But because during high school has now adopted this ISSN educational model they wanted a more global focus in the classroom so that is why we read what is the what? Uh, a young man, he was born in Sudan and it just talked about his, um, his life going through the Sudanese Civil War. What I did for my Take Action project was an educational uh, presentation about the Somali community and the Sudanese community in Portland, Maine. Whenever we would see Somalia or Sudan in today's news, we would always see them, either the chil children starving or just war and just these negative, just bloody, gory images that we would just see and that's, n and that's not necessarily true. I just wanted to show my, the students in my class, my peers, um, how beautiful and how enriching these cultures are and what these people have, bring to our community. One of the outcomes of ISSN is a senior capstone project. And one of the pilots this year is in a senior English class. The kids are going to be researching a significant global issue. Um, and they are going to be actually going out and experiencing that in some way, either volunteering or learning more, or talking with someone in the field that um, they're looking at. They're also um, looking at their issue in terms of what it means to them, what it means to their community, and what it means to the world, and writing a personal essay um, as an introduction to their research. I'm very interested in like women's rights and um, gender inequality. and when I was in a human rights and issues class, we actually had a presentation given to us on sex trafficking, and that's kind of what sparked my interest in pursuing it as a topic for my senior experience. Maine is considered a hub for sex traffickers to recruit girls and to bring girls to sell. When they get these girls, they refer to them as their stable. When you think of stable, you think of horses. They dehumanize um, the girls. They are no longer girls in their books. They are just there for their monetary gain. I see ISSN changing education at Deering in a way that makes content more relevant and content more uh, exciting and engaging for kids. I see us thinking about how what we teach connects with the world and how kids can do more uh, investigating and recognizing and communicating around that content. In my forensics class, we just talked about Syria and the use of sarin gas which um, I thought was pretty neat because we also talk about that in Model UN. So I feel like everything's starting to kind of get more interconnected and I feel like teachers are starting to kind of talk more and really put it into a global focus instead of kind of a narrow-minded, like, local focus. Project. I've learned so much about the conflicts in South Sudan and just conflicts around the world where I won't necessarily hear about. Um, it really broadened my horizons about the rest of the world and I'm just happy that we adopted ISSN because I feel much more globally connected.